This early is, to a good early, this is early pretty advantage. Clear cut. I mean, you just said it. This is all about early to mid game Prepare aggression for, for EG, battle. newbie. Uh -huh. They have it late. I mean, that's pretty much plain and simple. Obviously, it's not, maybe it's not quite as simple as that just because you have an enigma with that big black hole. And even Wraith King can turn into somewhat of a right clicker towards the end. But since he's going to be starting out as a five, I just highly doubt that's going to happen this game. But look at RTZ's set on this. Okay, this was made by Don Don. This is a sick ass. <laughs> that looks amazing. Is this the whole set or is this mix and match? I think it looks like the whole set to me. No, it's mix and match for sure. Really? He's keeping the same sword here. Oh, that's He's right. got it's this the, genuine, it's the uh, mythical genuine shield. Or the immortal shield or whatever. Is this the one that, that was available in the secret shop yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Really cool. Ooh, dang. Universe sniping at the Treant. 12 oh, gold. Oh, boy. PPD oh, on this okay. Wraith King. He's going to fire the stun. He's going to die one way or another. Seconds. question is who's going to pick up the first play. Ooh. Spectre. Oh my goodness, that is terrible for EG. That's the worst possible hero to get the first blood on for EG. He's going to fly out a poor man's shield immediately, and this means that he blocks 20 damage guaranteed from an enemy hero. And Star Shield normally only blocks 60% chance, but now it's going to be 100%, and he hits six harder, so really good early advantage to him. He's going to be very, very difficult to kill now. The and actually, I'm begins. interested to see what the lanes are going to be. Of course, welcome to the Dota 2 noob <laughs> stream for all you new players out there. Uh, we'll try to go over some of the basics from time to time to make sure you don't get too lost. Uh, a hero we haven't talked about in quite a while, which is surprising considering he's up so consistently in the past, is the Wraith King, if you could kindly click on him. He only has one ability. New players out there, probably a good hero to start with. His first ability, which is Wraith Fire Blast, is a single target stun. That's pretty much it. It slows, it does damage over time, it's nice. Nice. That's my description. It's <laughs> really nice. Okay. But every other ability for him is passive, meaning you don't ha actually have to activate. You're seeing Doom place some wards here. This is actually blocking the camps. He's actually going to be spotted out. Doesn't These are the Eidolons, King. dude. They are. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they look awesome. Banana just ran through their jungle, said he could put wards down. He wants to prevent Enigma from getting last hits here. And oh, did he misplace this ward, actually? I am not entirely sure, but... Um, this one will block for sure. So this camp was not going to spawn anymore. This camp's not going to spawn anymore. So he's now going to run back to his jungle. He's going to get last hits, and he's going to get farm. And Enigma's going to have a bit of a problem here, especially because we already used both sentries here in the jungle. So maybe a bit presumptuous of PPD to, to get rid of these so fast. But on the bright side, at least he can pull, I guess. Well, I think you were right about the Tinker. I'm thinking about it more and more. <laughs> I really think they want a Tinker, but Dragon Knight, it makes some sense too. I mean, Tinker, the problem is you don't start to take off to a high degree until a little bit later, and maybe that's a little too late for their purposes. Dragon Knight comes online at level six. We've talked about him a bit in the past, but when you turn into your, when you use your ultimate, you turn into a ranged dragon, and it has a nice damage over time attack, meaning if you attack in tower, it'll deal 100 damage to it over a five second period. So that's why he is such a good push. Dyer's but I'm more interested in this Beastmaster. If this Beastmaster top can get some farm, this is a hero you want to get Blink Dagger on. For uh -huh. all, I mean, usually speaking at least. This allows you to Blink, another instant initiate almost. And the roar is so good. Even, I mean, another thing we've talked about in the past is the power of Black King Bar, which is the item when you activate it, you turn golden and you become magic immune. And Usually you'd be able to dodge stuns or and dodge pretty much any magical damage, but with Beastmaster ult, that will actually go through it, much like Enigmas. Who would you use it to set up on? Probably Brewmaster, right? It would be Brew or Doom. Those two, you just need to lock down one hero from not being able to use their ultimate at all. And those two heroes, I mean, either one, interchangeable, I think. Yeah, so they're actually doing an aggressive duel in this game. This is Sun Sheng, the Lich, as well as... Uh, how on the Spectre, they're doing an aggressive dual lane here because they're trying to decrease the amount of farm that the Storm Spirit can get for free, and it's kind of working. They're actually both just not farming extremely well. They're doing okay, I guess. Nine last hits on Spectre and ten on the Storm Spirit. The downside is that they're actually denying a lot using Sacrifice, so it's it's decreasing the amount that Storm Spirit can get, but it's not doing it by a huge amount. And the mid lane I want to talk about real quick is Brewmaster versus Dragonite. The reason this is a great matchup for Brewmaster is, okay, I actually didn't know. I thought he would get at least one level Dyer's of Drunken Haze. If he gets that, attack. that would be pretty dirty. Because Drunken Haze, when you apply it to an enemy, they'll have a huge mischance. Meaning he, meaning Arteezy on this Dragonite is going to have to resort to using Breathe Fire over and over, which he's doing anyway. <laughs> I guess he yeah. knows that he's going to end that, up bottle crying. That's how you play Dragonite mid, yeah. actually. You actually Breathe Fire all the time. It, it is your right click, but it's not all of your right click. So if you're like TA, yeah, her brewmaster will grab things like Drunken Haze, but against a Dragon Knight, it helps, but it's not.
that helpful. But in general, he's very good against melee heroes as well. Yeah. So Brewmaster's gonna be fine. Don't see a whole lot of kill potential without some sort of a gank. And poor Zai on this Enigma. Not sure what he's doing. These Eidolons are crazy. These are the new items. Uh, are these Immortals? I can't even check. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, right actually. Top lane. Top lane. Oh, wow. How is that possible? How? Oh, you tell me. I know. Tell well, me. he did have his TP. He basically slowed him with the boar. He got three levels of the Call of the Wild, which gives him a hawk now. He just slowed him with the boar until he died. And he chased him down and right-clicked him. That's that's it. He didn't TP simple. in time. He must have been kind of slow. I, I didn't see that kill happening. That's so big, though. That's a 1v1 matchup, and he got a kill before 6. Like, what the hell? Yeah, that's, really but that's weird. Universe, man. He does stuff like that all the time. That's true. One of the best offlaners in the game, for sure. Doom? Like, half-time jungling? Or is he full-time jungling? No, he's doing a mix of pulling and jungling, I believe. So, right. he's got a pretty easy time. If we match his level on Zai, Zai is level 4 as well on the Enigma. So, it's it's going pretty equal. There's still some Observer Wards blocking. These are Observer Wards, so they give vision but they last for like seven minutes, so they really are blocking this camp for a long time. This is gonna decrease his farm. He's actually killing the medium camp, then he's coming over to the ancients, he's pulling the ancients down, and then he's farming the ancients, so. It's not very efficient for an Enigma to do this. It's actually very difficult to do this uh, successfully, but he's getting some out of it. He's making the best of a bad situation. Bottom lane, Mason on Stormfin. It looks like that's gonna be another death in favor of Newbie. And now poor Wraith King is stuck in a bunch of trees. He can't go anywhere. The ultimate actually used for Nature's Prophet, which is a global chain lightning tree thing, which I still can't remember the word they used, but it was really good. Uh, moss. It was moss, right? Maybe. That you. Is that it? I think it was. I mean, I definitely said moss. It's a chain moss. Moss. Chain moss? Yeah, something like moss that. Mossy chain? Yeah. One of the that was I like. not as good as I as you made the, it sound. The beauty of Nature's Prophet is he teleports in from across the map, he helps get the kill, and now he can just transition this easily into a push with these crazy ass looking tree ants. Radiance like, bottom tank tower all the is tower under attack. Auto attacks, and here you see Brewmaster on the left side perch just killing the creep wave that's coming in. So this allows them to push a little bit easier. And really, EG can't do a whole lot about this. Dyer's structures are fortified. So Illusion now on the Lich. He's level 5. That's a 2 level advantage over the Wraith King. Radiance bottom They're pressuring tower mid a little bit. Arteezy is just pinging away the tower. The benefits of the fortified. first level, uh, the level 1 dragon is that it does poison damage. So 20 damage per second to these heroes. It works on towers as well. It's Dyer's very, very good against towers. And he just kind of wants to run up here and ping it once in a while just to get the damage low. And even Eidolon's being Radiance spawned here. They're going to try to do as Radiance much damage to the tier 1 as they can in exchange for the bot tower that's now going down. Oh. He actually stuns Brewmaster, who has his ultimate. They want to try to make him use it. He's going to do that and watch for EG to run away. But here comes the global presence of Nature's Prophet, along with Doom out of the jungle. Easy kill. They're going to whirlwind the Dragon Knight, but I don't believe they're going to go for this. So in the end, huh. Brewmaster ult is not wasted. It's a good attempt from EG, but Newbie just executed really well. All right, and Beastmaster ended up TPing mid just in case there. He didn't need it, so a bit of a mistake. Actually, maybe he needs it now. Arteezy's being initiated on. Stun's going to miss from Banana. No roar. He actually doesn't quite have the mana for it. Didn't really need it, though. And that'll be disengaged. So a small miss from the Doom. He used his skill. It's called War Stomp. He gets these from eating creeps in the neutral camps. And he eats the creeps, and then he gets their abilities permanently until he eats another creep that has an ability. And that's the Centaur stun. It's a little AoE. It's not that big, and he ended up being a little misplaced. It's a lot smaller than that. It's like, I don't know. Let me stop moving my camera for a bit. It's like, I don't know, this or something. It's pretty small. He missed it. No big deal. So it looks pretty big. So big. So big. But so, I want to finish about Wraith King since he's going to be starting to level up a bit. And, okay, fine. Uh, his second ability, of course, I already talked about his active skills, so the rest of his skills are just passive. Yep. Uh, his second ability is called Vampiric Aura. It's just a basic lifesteal, but it works for range. Or, sorry, not just lifesteal for him, but his teammates around him. But the interesting thing about it, the unique thing I should say, is that it works on range heroes as well as Arteezy on the this Dragon Knight continues to pound away at this tower. But there's the ultimate from Spectre. Arteezy getting so low. Wow. Okay. They had more than enough damage. I wasn't sure. I thought there might be some help here from, from Zion the Enigma, but it wasn't to be, I suppose. Beastmaster, we haven't seen him roar yet, so... So far, the Beastmaster pick is just... weird.
Until until I'm until they group up or something like that. Until they get a kill with the roar. Yeah, they haven't really set anything up with it. Whereas newbie is actually making a lot of kills happen. They group four Radiant like that and they kill RTZ just attack. before it hits daytime using stuns and things like that. And now another tower may end up falling here. But TPs are coming. This is RTZ coming back to lane. He does have treads. Not the best item Dyer's for this time period, but his last hits are attack. still very good. So despite dying finally. His net worth is still in an okay place. Um, EG is getting out farmed right now. And they have to be pretty careful because in the late game, they're going to have some trouble with this. So Mason on the Storm Spirit is just trying to get his basic items up. He wants to be able to make a presence on the map, but it's going to be a while until he gets there. And that, that's really the hero that we need to talk about. But first, yeah. let's talk about towers being denied. When a tower gets below 10% health, you can actually d uh, kill your own tower. And the benefits of this are uh, basically just less gold for the enemy team because when you... Let's say Spectre here gets the last hit. Who are you looking at? Doom. Ooh, what Doom a ball. gets the last hit on the tower. That's 200 gold for everybody on this team, plus a little bit more for who actually kills the tower itself. But if it's denied, the enemy team only gets 100 gold apiece. So yeah. less than half, actually, or more than half. They Save. get they get less than half. Yeah. I'm thinking of the term less than half. But yeah, yeah. Less than half. But really, Storm Spirit is who needs to take off. For this is 100% the hero. And the problem with him is he needs specific items in order to be effective. Because again, his ultimate takes so much mana capacity. Dyer's top I'm surprised he doesn't have that might, to make him red. But. Might see a fight here. EG did scout out the gank going on in the jungle. See a bit of an axis from Universe here. And they're swinging around. Here comes the tier one. PPD is going to be the hero. They go on. Nope, nope. They're changing their mind. Maybe a stun. Nope. Radiance middle nope. tower. Okay, is under attack. nothing. EG is going to be fine. They delta splitted right Dyer's out of there. This just feels so much different than attack. last game as this tier yeah. one tower is getting very low. I mean, Newbie seems to be very deadly in the driver's seat right now. The top lane. Yeah. Middle tower nope. has fallen. There's the PPD a little oh, too far forward. Yeah, PPD doesn't have his ultimate, but top lane, we finally saw a roar used by Beastmaster. So they end up trading a Wraith King for a Doom that's very good for EG. Remember, Doom is the hero that actually is being played as a four. Maybe it's the same. <laughs> or close to the same. Universe farms the blink. Actually, they're going in. Side's gonna be in some trouble here. Stun comes through, and that's a death on him. EG's sitting a bit too close to their towers, and they're throwing away any advantage that they could be making here. Because they, if their heroes are dead before the fight starts, I mean, then the rest of them can't even defend. This is really not looking good for them. The towers can take some damage. Newbie, I guess we'll back off. But I mean, the Spectre keeps being in kills. He's two zero and four. This is really bad. His last hits are almost the highest in the game. Bad for EG. <laughs> Just yes. To, just to clarify. It's very bad for EG. It's very, very good for Newbie, actually. Yeah, it's actually interesting because Spectre isn't a hero that really takes part in a lot of fights, typically speaking, in the uh -huh. stage because she's kind of weak, but she has the farm. She can survive, so why not? I mean, getting extra experience, she's helping her team get gold. And with all this global presence from both Nature's Prophet and Spectre herself, um, I mean, Newbie's looking really good. Like I said, this yeah. is not looking like last game at all. Last game was very close. It could have gone either way. EG's picks. I mean, maybe they turn it around, but so far the picks just haven't panned out in their way that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, that combo is actually really good. The Spectre, Nature's Prophet, this is how it works. Again, you cast Haunt, it spawns an illusion for yourself on every enemy hero. And then when that happens, those illusions follow those heroes, which means you can see them. And then when you Nature's Prophet ulti, and the moth comes across the map, it hits everybody. It's really awesome. Yeah, that's true. Bit of a gank here, Mason's gonna leave. Says goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Well, he really doesn't have much farm, actually. Is that? Mason, uh, the Storm Spirit. Yeah, he's got a Treads and a Soul Ring, and he's got a bottle, so he has and a wand, actually. He's got three items that give him some burst mana. He was... Allow him to do things early. Wait, but where was he? He was bitter. He was bottom. bottom. He was sitting bottom, and he was he was 2v2. He was with the Wraith King yeah. against the Spectre and the Lich. So his last hits were denied. So what what newbie did this game? They said, okay, Artis is playing Dragonite. That's a hero that's annoying, but he's kind of hard to kill. We don't really have to shut him down because he can't snowball hard. They they want to shut down the hero that can snowball hard, and it's Storm Spirit. So, and he he did that in one of his games during the the group stage. He did Looking a really good job. Here. I really like what newbie's doing. Despite Dyer's even though they have the lead, they're going to continue the attack. aggression. They're smoked up. This is a consumable you can use to make yourself invisible on the mini map, meaning wards will not see you, and they're going to be coming behind both Wraith King. Does not have his ultimate, so he's gonna die if he goes Dyer's down. He's gonna attempt to TP out, but the chain frost. Remember, I said it has a mini stun. I do remember. And cancels his teleportation, and they're gonna get the kill. But luckily for EG, they don't lose the Beastmaster who teleports out just as much. Who now has a blink dagger, by the way. Okay, so only one hero died there. 
It could be worse, could be much worse. The gold graph, our EXP graph is actually completely equal. The gold graph is a two and a half gold advantage to newbie. That's not that much. At 13 minutes, all right, at 13 minutes of the game, it's pretty big. It's, it's not that bad, it's about a 10% difference. Very, very minor difference that's like having a mech over your opponents that they don't have. So I like what EG's doing with pressure. I mean, this is a really dangerous place to farm for a Radiant Hero. But because Storm Spirit's here, they know that that's another camp that Newbie isn't getting. So as long as they kind of cut the map off like that, this is like what this is what EG likes to do. They like to cut the map. They'll shift PPD or the Beastmaster to a place that isn't as safe usually. And, and then um, the other heroes will just get a lot of farm. And if they can continue this, they should be in a good spot lately. Look game. at the net worth real quick. Yeah, we just did. Okay. Were you paying attention? Look at Storm Spirit. Where you at, Storm? Where you at? Uh, net worth. Net worth. Net, net, net worth. Net. There you go. Ooh, he's really behind. This is a he's hero that really you want to be at the worst case scenario, top three. And he's middle well, of the pack. In his defense. Well, no, I'm not saying he's playing teammates. poorly, but. You said it. You just no, said it. You said his net worth is poor. Well, his net worth is terrible, absolutely. But that's really because of newbie. And actually, put the. Put the camera over Roshan. Dyer's middle this? tower is under attack. Okay, it's just the stream that has a team. I was just wondering how they do this. Doom picks up a mechanism, so they're going to be a lot more tanky. And with Roshan dropping the Aegis, he's going to pick that up. Probably Roshan has thing. fallen yeah. to yeah. the she goes. And she's yeah. going for a uh, What is she heart? doing? I don't think that's Is she really? I hope uh, it's it's a, it's a banner or vitality booster. Sorry, first. Artis is just going to TP. He's going to be just fine. Okay. Awkward teleport, but he gets away. It's not so that bad. Fine. There's very few stunts on newbie. They have doom, they have level death, and they have the ulti from Lich, and they have whatever Panda's working with when he ultis. But only when he ultis, he's only got stunts then. So EG can kind of do a lot of what they want. We have uh, Zhao Wei, the Nature's Prophet, going for a Necro 3. This is an item that spawns little neutrals or creeps in control of you. The melee one has mana burn. It also gives you true side aura, which is like a gem, which lets you see invisible things. The ranged one does a damage aura. Oop, they're going to be initiated on bottom. Can they do PvD? He's at 7. He actually just now skills his ulti, just in case he wants to use it. That's really oh, smart, actually. That's really very, good. very cool idea. Do you understand why he did that? Here we go. Wait, what? Oh, Do you know what? He's... All right, I'll tell you later. Yes, tell me later. He's going to be chased down. He probably will die here for more or less nothing. Keep but in mind, although Doom works on a lot of things, it actually does not cancel away from which yeah. we haven't even talked about, actually. It makes you respawn. Yeah. So I'll explain why, why it's cool that he did that. He was level 7 here. I was like, oh, he doesn't have his ulti yet. That's really weird. He holds the skill point because let's say he gets jumped on by four heroes like he just did. Well, if he knows he's going to die, there's no point to let yourself die twice because then it wastes the cooldown. It's a six minute or five minute cooldown or whatever. If he lets himself die once only and saves the skill point, he can level up when he respawns and I then see. he still has his ulti off cooldown. At that point, he thought that he was just going to get ganked by one or two heroes and ended up being four and he definitely wasted it. But it, that's probably why he held it. Really good thinking by him. Pretty cool. I like that. I like this insight from Persian. Very nice. Wow. Poor Enigma. Oh, oh, we oh that's bad. Oh my god. Oh, even the chain cross is used. Dragon Knight goes down. Didn't use his ultimate, so at least he has that still in the bag. But Brewmaster pops his ultimate for that kill. And Newbie's going to continue the aggression. 10 to 3 in their advantage. Nature's Prophet. Where are you? Has a Necro 2. So, like you talked about. Necronomicon, a great item for pushing, and it can upgrade it up to level 3, so expect that to come very Radiant's shortly, middle especially for a hero like Nature's Prophet that doesn't usually have a problem farming. So we have two gems, one on each team. You brought this up a little bit ago, but a gem, when you hold it, it gives you true sight for whoever holds it, meaning you can see invisible things like wards or invisible heroes, things like that. Uh, but the problem is when you die, it drops on death, meaning the other team can pick it up. And the other thing to keep note of is when you buy it, there's actually a cooldown to be able to buy the next one, which is... Six minutes or something like that. Uh, seven or nine or something. They just bought it. We can just check, I guess. Uh, holy. Ten minutes now. It's been buffed or nerfed, actually. Wow. Okay. Hard to say. Minutes. Yeah, I guess it's nerfed. It's nerfed so as an item. Let's go through some well, theory crafting. If newbie can kill whoever's holding the gem for EG, which is universe, universe on Beastmaster. If they can get both gems. That is a crippling blow to EG. Well, the reason they bought one is because they want to go kill wards on the map. And he did just find one over Radiant's here. Beastmaster is very good at finding attack. wards because he has the hawk, the call, the wild here. It just kind of sits itself over trees and it looks for heroes. It's it's basically a flying, moving ward. It's very good. So he's looking around for wards. Radiant's he wants to stop people from fallen. having vision advantage on his Dyer's team. And hopefully for him, he will be able to defend this, I think. So? 
I, it, I mean, the game is being owned by Nubi right now. They keep getting kills, whereas EG is not doing that. They're just kind of playing passively. And I think this is largely because the Storm Spirit was pressured so much. The smart laning style from Nubi doesn't allow Storm Spirit to go around and make stuff happen as easily. Yeah, if you guys have never seen Storm Spirit, typically, probably five minutes ago is a normal time for him to start going in, initiating on people getting some kills left and right, helping his team gain an advantage, but... You can't do much with him if you don't have items then. Right now he's building towards an Orchid Malevolence, which is the item that silences an enemy and deals amplified damage when he, uh, during that duration. It's amazing on Storms because it also gives a lot of mana regeneration. Uh, right now he is getting towards there. He's not too far away actually. Maybe the recipe, I believe. So maybe like 900 gold. That's so getting a little closer. He's actually going to initiate mid. Doubt he's going to go for it though. <laughs> Just zips yeah. in and zips back out. He's going to take a little damage nuke there. He's I actually he... going to teleport. Yeah. All right. He nice. saw that Howe had a clarity potion on him, so he wanted to jump in and ruin his mana a bit. So some nuke being which, done. Speaking of which, Spectre has a Diffusal Blade. Yeah. So this Vitality Booster he picked up. It's what we call a casual item. He just gives stats, nothing else. He'll turn that into a heart eventually. But in the meantime, he just gets it for a little bit of extra HP because it does give 250. And now he has a Diffusal Blade, though, which is an amazing Radiance item on Spectre. It, firstly, every hit, including your Illusions, every hit, right? yep. they, they will burn mana on, on each hit. In addition, you Dyer's get an active ability, is under attack. which when used on Dyer's an enemy here will slow them. It basically purges them. Uh, your namesake, of course. It's actually not my namesake. I uh, I made it before oh, no. I played Warcraft 3. Oh, okay. But I mean, I'll take it. Damn. Yeah, it's a really good item for Spectre, though. Um, his second skill is called Desolate. Whenever himself or one of his illusions is hitting a hero and there's nobody else around, it'll end up draining. I'm sorry, it'll give you pure damage. So it's really strong. PB just giving up. <laughs> Why is he even stun? I'm surprised he doesn't try. Maybe he forgot his ulti. Well, what's the, what's the point? You oh, know, do a little extra damage, force them to heal themselves. I don't know. Literally no point not to do it. I think he I actually guess. thought he was dead, to be honest. But, and the unfortunate thing, like you brought up earlier, this is the longest cooldown in the game, is Wraith King Ultimate level 1, so it's down for another 240 plus seconds. Does Bloodstone come? Ooh, Banana almost finding Storm. He's got to be careful. If he gets a Doomed, Radiance he can't use Ball Lightning anymore. His HP is actually very low right now. He's almost finished the Orchid, and when he does finish the Orchid, he can start trying to get kills, but it's not even going to be that easy. Everybody on Newbie is actually quite tanky. He can try to kill heroes like Lich, perhaps, but... Everybody else, the panda, he won't be able to touch. Radiant's He's got 1,800 HP. Even Nature's Prophet is dangerous with the Necro 3, so... I don't know, man. This this team, this newbie team, it would be so fitting for our stream if they made it to the finals. Remember, yeah. whoever wins this best of three, despite this being day one of the International 4 playoff stage, whoever wins this series is going to be in the finals, guaranteed. Top yeah. two. That is a lot That's of money, a, million. a lot of prestige. Yeah, split split one and a half million dollars five ways. You're gonna have a, a nice time. If, isn't it more? <laughs> is it two mil or you're something? Gonna have a nice time. You're gonna have a really nice time, dude. Awesome, love it. I can only imagine what you would do with a million dollars. I can't. Dollars, can you all tap for a second? Check what the prize pools are for a second. I'm really curious, and I keep forgetting. Uh, where would I find that? Uh, click like the international 2014. Go back. No, or don't click on that spam link. Click right there. Bam. And then scroll, and then use your eyes. My eyes. Until you find it. Okay. All right, second place is 1.46 million. million. So it's one and a half million dollars split five ways minus cuts. That's some good money. They're already guaranteed 800,000 right now, but whoever loses here could go to loser bracket and only get 800K. Only. So it's only. How are you going to live on that? I don't know. You'd have to move to a country that has low... Uh Stuff to buy. Like Arizona, right? No, Arizona. Yeah, it's okay. It's not California, guys. It's okay. too expensive. Cost of living, out of control. Out of control, I tell you. This is the thing we talk about when the game is just very, very stale in nature. More like when we feel like talking about things. Or that too. I like talking about things. But newbie is just controlling this game, man. It's, it's, yeah. It's precision. It really is. It's like a doctor opening you up. It's very precise in nature. Uh. Don't make any mistakes, and if you do. It could cost you, or somebody else. In that case. All right. So my analogies. Enigma's pushing up towards the tier Dyer's one tower. This is kind of what EG wanted to do a long time ago. It's 20 minutes in. It actually feels like the late late game, Dyer's but they finally have the items they need. Oh my God! That was Radiant's half of Mason's HP yeah. from the Nature's Prophet Ultimate. Will they go into the room and actually go? 
Way too far. Banana moving. There's the pull. The stun. The right click. Can they kill him? Another stun. They pick off the kill. No mech from him. Roar comes on moves. Well, I don't think he'll be able to kill him, though. He's going to be able to split. The axe is for huge damage. Beastmaster gets cleaned up. How? There's the chain frost. Interrupting the teleport. Artizi drops three dead heroes. Buyback from Doom. And they are ready to roll, man. Well, back for the push. That was a good initiation for well, actually, it was not a good initiation by Stormbreaker. <laughs> it was He used yeah. all his mana going back and forth. Uh, probably confusing to people that don't know, but you can actually choose where you're going. So that was questionable. Uh, that he it's, went way the farther far. you go, the more mana you use. Radiant's so if he wants to go and Doombringer here, attack. and he jumps from here to here, and they has to jump back again, this is wasting like this much distance in terms of mana. It's a big mistake from Mason to go that far. But he saw the opportunity, he got a little frazzled there to try to catch him. So too much mana wasted there means he may not have had enough when he was trying to escape. So um, decent mistake from him, but they still end up getting a kill. It's for one buyback, but definitely not worth it. Gold Advantage is still going in newbie's favor. Gonna snowball newbie sorry, like you said. Spectre starting to get bigger items. Uh, she has an ultimate orb. I'm assuming it's gonna be a Manta style. Manta style is a correct me if I'm wrong by the way. But when you activate it, it creates two illusions wrong. for yourself. No, I'm just How kidding. dare you? And these illusions, like I talked about, will get the diffusal passive, meaning the burning of mana, which work on your haunt illusions as well. Yep. So she's gonna have a ton of illusions to work with. We haven't even talked about the rest of her skills. The reason you build so tanky is kind of like a distribution tanky and a little bit of DP or a little bit of damage. Uh, because of her dispersion ability, which is a passive skill, it essentially is a way for her to. It blocks it, the damage it, you take it, and it reflects it as damage. Okay. 22% of all damage Spectre takes is reflected. So in nature, she's already tanky. Yes. Based on that fact alone, but yep. building more items actually works. It scales really well with that. Yeah. With that ability. It, and you can build her more tanky with Radiance, or you can build her more DPS with agility items like Drums and Diffusal Blade and Manta Style. I really like the Diffusal Blade Manta Style build. It's more fun, I think, but the Radiance is a lot safer. But I think the reason he's going this build instead is because there's a lot of BKB heroes on EG. Number one, um, heroes like Dragon Knight um, wouldn't take any damage from Radiance if he does pop Black King Bar, the item that makes you magic immune. Enigma's going to get one of those as well. And most importantly, Storm Spirit is a hero that really needs mana to do well. He doesn't care about Radiance at all. It doesn't bother him in the yeah. slightest. Because it's just a bit of damage over time. This is important. But the him. mana drain is good, though. It's really good against Storm Spirit. If he takes damage from Illusions, he has less mana to work with. Universe this is going to try to so roar. so important for EG. Is they it how? To, they have to win this fight. They want to get how here. We have people in position, but he's going to back off just in time. PPD at 0, 6, and 1, having a rough game. So Enigma has a Black King bar, which means typically you can't stun him when he's using it, meaning because of his magic immunity. But the problem is Doom all goes through it. Lich is also through it. Grab initiation. Can they get Lich before anything happens? The Black Hole only on one. It gets Doom right away. Poor Zion. This poor Enigma. Our TG Pops is Black King bar. Everybody's golden. Hit the circuit here. Beastmaster all being used as well. So far, Lich is the only guy to be along with the enemy, so it's a one-for-one -one trade. And Wraith King does have his ultra, so he'll be back once he dies. But RTZ is the focus fire for Newbie. He gets purged thanks to that defusable blade. Do they ever have to take him out? He's gonna try and TP out, but he gets stunned. And the right clicks are too much to handle, but it is a two-for-two, two, despite Newbie being so far ahead in this game. That was a little bit surprising. They're gonna lose TPD. It ends up being a three-for-two overall. Not the worst case scenario. Andy kills at range Necro 3, which is worth 200 gold, so let's count three heroes, okay? <laughs> um, still not good for them because Newbie should be able to take Rashawn. Also, they lost a support and they lost a core for two cores and a support. I guess it wasn't too bad, but they're going to get Rashawn off of this, and that's not going to be a good trade for them. It's just not. I feel like Mason's wasting way too much mana. He's just really scared right now. And he should be. He's scared of Doom. If Doom, if he gets Doom, he dies. But every t every fight that happens, he jumps in. He orchids one person. Then he jumps again. Then he jumps. Then he jumps. Then he jumps. He's not doing damage output. He's mostly just initiating. And that may be what's hurting them is that they're not getting that normal damage output from Storm because he's so scared about getting Doom. Looks like well, Aegis no. is going to be picked up by Spectre because this is now another Roshan. Wait, this is the second Roshan, right? I believe Spectre. I think right so. Now. I'm getting my. I actually am not up. sure. I th I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, could be wrong, of course. But uh, what I want to talk about is, tower is under attack. something that I completely. I don't know. Storm oh, that's right. Storm Spirit has a double damage in his bottle. That's actually a really good rune for him. But 
You can see he has a Perseverance. This is going to be turned into, in all likelihood, a Lincoln Spirit, which is yeah, amazing against so Doom. This will give him, like you're talking about, he's playing very scared. He should be a lot more confident with that, I feel, because that will block an incoming spell, well, such as the level down. He doesn't really have the item yet, so I feel like the spin in the street falls and goes on Doom. There's the right flex Orchid being used as well. More epics, another stun. He's going to end up dying. Mason running for his life. Will How go down as well as I doesn't have a black hole, but BKB on Dragonite. A couple more right there. DVD running for his life. RTZ trading the hits. Looking for a stun. This is pretty good for them, but it is still an Aegis. And now the TP out. Will RTZ make it? It looks like it. So. Wow, okay. Okay, they will also support. They killed the enemy Doombringer. That's Dyer's good experience for them, I feel. Um, a bit of advantage. The top tower gets denied, which means half of the gold that they should have gotten goes to EG, so they're not completely happy about that, but it does open the map up, and they were able to place a ward in the meantime before that fight started, so they basically can now control this part of the map if they feel like it, or if they have the advantage, and gold gain is pretty much leveled off, so that means there's less and less advantage for a newbie over time. That was so. with a double damage Storm Sewer, by the way, so that's yeah. why Doom was dropping a decent amount. Um, obviously, newbie, they, they lose that fight, but it's not a huge loss in the end, and really, like we talked about in the early game, EG wants to win this in the mid game. I don't see how they could possibly win if this gets into the 45 right. plus range. All right. Other than Black Hole. They got Black Hole, they <laughs> have Storm Hole. Spirit, they have Roar, they have two good ultimates out of Roar and Black Hole. Storm Spirit is very mobile. It's kind of like Batrider in that sense. You can pick off heroes that are, are heroes that are making mistakes and they're out of position. So he's pretty good at the late game. Well, he is countered me, by Doom. Okay, let me say this. If, if this goes late, and no mistakes are made. I don't see how newbie not lose this. Oh I mean, wow! No mistakes. Yes, no mistakes. Oh. I what mean, is, Storm what Spirit, is... you, you're right. You capitalize on mistakes and whatnot, but Spectre is such a late game here. I don't know yeah. how you can. Yeah. Oh, seven zero and eight actually. He's doing so well. Uh oh. I don't know. Ooh, they're falling in. Mason. He's on the whole team. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh, Thunderclap's gonna miss. All BKB's used out. on the Brewmaster. Yeah, pretty big. He's an Invis. Spirit. Oh wow! The oh, they see him. They see him. Goodbye, Storm Spirit. So he dies yet again. He, Almost had enough for his, actually does have enough for his ultimate orb, so he still can't finish that Lincoln Sphere about probably 1200 to 1100 away from finishing attack. it, which will be a pretty big deal. Um, I mean, even if he gets the Lincoln Sphere, how do you feel uh, he does in these fights? Does that help like a lot, or is it just one of those On the things? storm? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's great against Doom, obviously, but in these, like... It's, it's good, and it'll buy him a second, but it won't be enough, I don't think. I mean, it can be blocked by... You can waste Spectral Dagger on it, you can waste Diffusal Blade charges on it, you can waste Level Death on it, you can use his net. They have so many like he ways. Needs, he needs a Black King bar and Lincolns this game. Even even that, I think, is overkill. I don't think getting a BKB this game is worth it. The only thing the BKB saves you from is Hex or the Sheep Sick or the Side of the Vice that Nature's Prophet has. It's disabled you for three and a half seconds. Really good disable. BKB stops that. It'll stop Chain Frost damage. It'll stop Diffusal Blade from doing bonus damage. But oh, like it really doesn't time, do very much. It ensures and, and your Lincolns will work, though. That's the thing. That's the well, that's the main reason you would pick it up. If you would, but not, I, not completely. I think but it's, it's too defensive, though. Like you can't. Like if you're behind, <clears throat> I'm sorry. If you're ahead, then sure that would make a little bit more sense. You can play a little passive. But you're behind. You, I don't think he should go Black King Core. I'm just it up as a possibility. But you're right. He should. I mean, what does he go after Lincoln? I mean, because this. I feel like this game is on the shoulders of Storm Spirit at this point for EG. It hangs Ooh. in the balance. They're gonna smoke this up. Is bad. They smoked right under an enemy ward, so the enemy team is going to know exactly where they're going. They pinged, they said, okay, they're going here, it's obvious. Black King Bar, Brewmasters is down to 7 seconds, he's almost got his Aghanim Scepter money, which will make his ultimate have more spells whenever he splits off. How is so farm 709 on a Spectre, oh, that is so scary to play against, man. Thirty-one hundred gold to boot as well. He's almost got heart, and he has all these agility items, like... Another 1100 and he'll, or 1200 and he'll have that heart, which means he'll be so much more Dyer's tanky. Middle tower of course, you might want to save for buyback, because remember, you can buy back Radiant's into the game, tower but you do attack. lose money when you die, so you have to make sure that you have enough in your storage to be able to come back in the game. Actually, this is a great hero to buy back now, because if you know you're going to die in a team fight, you don't use your ultimate inspector. You die, you buy back, then you haunt in, and you can be directly Dyer's back in the tower. Yeah. Really good hero for that. So maybe she was just waiting to, to get a little bit more gold in order to effectively that strategy. Sounds like a pretty good plan. Uh, Spectre's almost got his heart finished. I mean, he's got three lives. How do you yeah. beat this, man? I have no idea. Enigma does have the blink dagger. Remember, never count out an Enigma. That's true. But never count them out. But teams are so good, they really don't group up much. There's a stun on how 
Another stun on how He's going to take a lot of Midnight Pulse damage. Actually, look at these illusions getting erect here. A bit of a dagger on PBD. Oh, they're just going to drain his mana. Watch this. Lose. Almost all of his mana got burned there. He has to go back and heal. And they're just casually hitting the tower. Remember, the Aegis is going to pop soon, so they kind of wants to die on Spectre. This Radiant could be pretty big if he dies right before it pops. And he's just taking it. So so down. Kill me. They had five okay. seconds left. Somebody killed him. <laughs> oh my god, here's the issue. The Master pops the BKB. Arteezy on the track. Oh. He's going to try to kill him. Gets the fire. Oh, oh, it's not on. Bit of a mistake. Doesn't have his armor on, you're right. What's the world? We're not about that item once we're done. There's the sheep. Arteezy gets really low. There's the chain frost as well. He's trying to run away, but he's extremely slow to try to get off his stun. But no, it looks as if he's gonna eventually go down here. His doom with the BKB is gonna continue to pursue. And there he goes down. Brewmaster back from the, the spirits. And the tower's dead. And the Radiant's melee barracks goes down next. Spectre Damn. and company. No casualties whatsoever. Just the Aegis used, which was about to pop anyway. What a good push in by Newbie there. They played it very smart, very methodically. They did exactly what Suns fans said they would, which was the die, buy back, and teleport back in with the haunt. And here comes the respawn from Wraith King. He's gonna throw another stun on How. I don't think they can kill him here. They can put him low, but he uses the Manta style again, and they're gonna guarantee the range barracks. That's a Rax going down at 34 minutes. And EG, I don't even see what happened to Storm here. He actually grabbed a Perseverance, and now he's making a Soul Booster. Okay, it's a Bloodstone. That's why. Still. The bloodstone. That's a late bloodstone, though. Well, can you be? F <laughs> Shut your mouth. A late bloodstone. Yeah. This game is hard, dude. <laughs> this is a, a late. He's playing against freaking newbie. They well, just. It's just. I feel like Lincoln's is actually really good, though. You know? Because okay, keep in it's mind. It's not okay, gonna hey, do let, that much. Let's say much. In, in any hero, you pick up a Lincoln spear against this lineup. It's not that good because you have right. so many things to take it off, right? Lincoln's is only good if it stops Doom. That's yeah. pretty much it. All these other spells that newbies deal with. Who's even dooming? I haven't even noticed. Has it been on Dragon Knight? No, it hasn't um, been on Dragon Knight. Oh, talk about Armlet, by the way. We forgot about that in the fight. All right, yeah, good point. Um, Armlet is an item. It's about 2,700 gold. If you activate it, it gives you a bunch of strength and damage bonuses, and then it slowly reduces your HP. Not slowly, it's about 40 HP per second. So as it's on, it reduces your HP relatively fast. Arteezy didn't use it when he used his Black King Bar to do damage. Maybe he did this because he wanted to save his HP, but if he's actually trying to kill something, turning the Armlet on is really important, but he may have forgotten that fight. Oh, we have the Doom. This time it's on Storm Spirit. He's dead. Does he have a buyback? He doesn't. He does not. Even if he did, that's a lot of gold that would be wasted. And we have a continued fight. Haunt from Spectre being used. This is just terrible. Oh, the TP gets interrupted as well. And the the Snare ability can interrupt. That's three dead heroes on EG. That could be the end of the game. We'll see. Let's check out buybacks really quick. Enigma does not have buyback. Storm Spirit dead for 15 seconds. Third Five good game is called 2-0 for Newbie. EG goes to loser's bracket. Wow. Newbie wins 1.6. They're going to the winner bracket finals. They've got some days oh, off grand. now, and the grand, yeah, but you're right, they're going to the grand finals. They are guaranteed second place right now, and EG goes to the lower bracket. I don't know where they fit in. Can you pull up the brackets? Who would have guessed? Which side Newbie? are they going to be on is the big question. That's what I'm curious yeah, about. that's true. Let's see. Because there's a chance oh. that all the non-Chinese teams are put in the same side of the bracket. I'm not sure though. If if EG gets put in the lower bracket against Vici Gaming, the same.